Could this be one of the parachutes that DB jumped with? He jumped with two of them. Hey, you wanna give it a try? You wanna try it out, see if it works? This is Agent Honeybear. Agent Honeybear, oh, okay. meet Agent DB. Hi. Hi, Agent DB. You're pretty yeah. sticky. Yeah, I'm pretty <laughs> sticky. That's just how honey bears do. Agent DB, can I jump off of your roof? Oh, sure. Kind of like you jumped off of that plane. <laughs> <laughs> what plane? <laughs> okay, Agent Honeybear, are you prepared for the parachute mission? We are going to see if Agent Honeybear, just like DB Cooper did, can jump from this high and make it down into the water below safely. Let's see it. Ready? Three, two, one, go! All right, Agent Badge, Agent Badge, Agent Badge. Here we go, here we go. Agent a Ninja, no. Agent Axe, no. Agent Tex, there we go. What is up, Adventure Agents? Agent Tex here. Today is the day that we are gonna check out this briefcase. Do you hear Faven? For yes, the last like half hour, she's been barking at something. Yeah, I yeah. I think it's like a snake or a mobile. Uh, maybe, she is barking like crazy. Let's go check out what she's barking at. You wanna see? Who are you? Agent no. Purple Thunder. Purple Thunder. Purple Thunderbolt, and who are you today? Pikachu, use Purple a Thunderbolt. Agent Pikachu. <laughs> Pikachu Agent Purple Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt and Agent Pikachu are here today. Boy, Dad. And we Pikachu. are gonna check out. Some of you Boy, see on last episode, we had this briefcase that our neighbor Al, D.B. Cooper, we think, gave us. And we're gonna see what's no, inside the briefcase. We think we know what it is, but it's blocked. We thought it was a real game master because he texted someone we with think he might his be friend's phone. Yes, so we're very suspicious of him. Although we think he's awesome and we certainly uh, consider him our friend, we think he might be D.B. Cooper, so. We need to have Al swim in the pond and write something on a piece of paper. While he's swimming in the pond? Like, you know, <laughs> because he'll be freezing cold in oh. like in the, oh, the winter, yeah, like freezing yeah, cold. Like, true. Yeah, Al but D.B. Cooper what needs to have glasses and he doesn't have glasses. You know, he actually does have some pictures we saw with him having glasses on. Some of you may know we also got one we of our most important agents you. back, Agent Tracker, our dog. Picture. Do you mean this picture? Yeah. I found it. Wait. It's a blown up copy that we made. It was a huge one? Yeah, we scanned it. This is who we think might be D.B. Cooper, and this is Al, and this is his accomplice, the football. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Brooks, that. Is a picture. Ah, what's the frowny face on the on the football? Baseball? Oh, Daddy, what? <laughs> it is frowning. Look at that. The football Dad, is frowning. What if that one's his actual <laughs> accomplice? You know, Daddy. Like, what if that's a hint to one of his accomplices? Like, Maybe. one of them had foot or ball in his name. Or catch me if you can. Like a football, catch me if you can. DB Cooper, catch me. Because they never caught DB Cooper. Maybe that's what this is. It's a subliminal message to the FBI, like, ha, you couldn't catch me, kind of like this football. I don't know, agents. Wait, Agent Tracker isn't barking anymore. Is she okay? What if a coyote got her? Let's go check her out, come on. So let's go see what Agent Tracker's up to and what she was barking about. Hopefully she's okay. And then, let's go check out what is in that briefcase, and then let's go to Agent DB's house. Do you guys want to do that? Go to Agent DB's house, DB Cooper's house? Uh, yeah! All right, yeah. let's do it. Do you hear? Agent Tracker. Faven! Last Faven. time we heard her, she's way up on the hill there. We Faven, need to check Faven. out what she's barking at. Agent Tracker! Agent Tracker! Woo! Oh, look at these beautiful flowers, agents. Oh my goodness, these are so gorgeous. Just love getting out in nature, looking at the beauty. Where is she? I hear something right over here. There was definitely something in the bushes right here. Hello? Hello? There it is, right there. Woohoo! Agent Tracker! Is that you? 
I don't know, agents. Yeah, right there. There's some kind of animal right in here. But I can't, I can't tell if it's Agent Tracker. I heard like a, like that. Woo! Agent Tracker! Oh, there it is, there it is. Oh, that was a, oh, there it is, right there. Ah, missed it. Oh, that was so big. A giant snake. That, that was, was like, like that big. Like two and a half feet long. Hey, that reminds me. I need to show you a really cool snake that I found. I found this really awesome snake. Agents, let's go look at it. Come on. And not a kid. Yeah, before we go do the briefcase, we're gonna go check out this snake, agents. Is it big? I think you're gonna like this snake. Is it big? It is big. It's the biggest one I've ever seen of this kind. Really? It's huge. A garter snake? Nope. Let's go check the snake out. This is really rough terrain, agents. Woo! Oh man. Stop the vehicle! Oh, I know Agent Tracker! How you doing? How you doing, huh? How you doing, you good doggy? Did you find it? Look how dirty and wet she is. Look at that. She, she must at? have been what I was seeing over there or hearing. Oh, she must have followed us. Yeah, it must have followed us because um, it, she it was down in a stream. And she has really good hearing, right? Yeah, and hearing. hearing and smelling. Well, she good, smell. good she has really good hearing and smelling because yeah. of her huge ears. Speaking of smelling, this snake that we want to show you over here, Is it, it could be a stinker. It's right over here. I'll show you. I found it and saved it so I could show it to you. Let's go check it out. All right, it's right in here. And some of you agents may know what this is. It is one of the most interesting snakes. Check that snake what out. What are they called again? You don't remember? Oh, oh it's stinking it. Uh, mm -hmm. Yep, yeah. I can give you a stink. It's a pretty slow moving snake. Yeah. Can any of you agents guess what kind of snake this is? That Take a guess. Kind of this is called a rubber boa. Oh yeah. yeah. It's a rubber boa. I remember we found one in We Eastern did. Still. Look at that. So gorgeous. Do you want to see it? Oh, I don't want it to drop stink on Stink on you, on you. yeah. Ooh, <laughs> yeah, as a defense mechanism, this snake, it releases a nasty stink from its uh, hind puppy. quarters. Puppy. But look at its tail. Isn't that interesting? Most snake tails are really long and skinny. Yeah. This one is more of a blunt end. And Pavin that's what we think another hand. defense mechanism because see the head? Daddy, Paven think it smells so bad, the stuff in my hand. She doesn't probably like it. Probably because it's like 10,000 times better yeah. on dogs than humans. Mm -hmm. And she's like, Ugh. Yeah, she probably would not mess with this snake because it stinks so bad. Plus, most animals have some sort of natural instinct to stay away from snakes. They don't trust them, stay away from them. If it could be venomous, not worth it. But. Some animals, under the like a mongoose, well, they've developed the ability to actually be able to eat highly venomous snakes like the cobra. Let's let this rubber boa go, okay? Let the rubber boa go. All right, friend. There you go. See ya. They call them rubber boas because you see this like rubbery texture that their skin is like. They're very soft. Just beautiful. See you later. They are a very, very docile snake. They aren't known to like even try to bite humans. Some people actually use them to get over phobias of snakes by handling them because they're a very docile breed of snake. Oh, agents, I forgot. Before we leave, I have to show you. Look at Agent Trinity's zombie survival garden. Check this out. We have tomatoes. We have, oh, potatoes. these are potatoes. Actually, some of you agents may watch our other channel, The Axel Show, but we posted a video where we harvested potatoes here. We didn't even plant these potatoes, and they're already growing back like this. Maybe we so missed some. incredible. That... Man, look, look. so if the zombies come, we got our potatoes for Dad, sure. Look. 
Oh, what? This is my own little garden. This is your little that's garden here? These two are mine. Oh, that's the French soil that you planted two years ago. No. Or a year and a half ago. I planted that um a few months ago. Really? The old French soil died. That's oh, okay. new ones from the seed. Oh, wow. But these two, these That is two awesome. Are... We have some uh, beans here. And we have all of this. Lettuce, carrots, more beans, cucumbers, squash, melons. This kale is from last year. Look at that, it's already going to seed. Zombies come, we got some food. So proud of Agent Trinity for making this epic zombie survival garden. Come on, let's go. We gotta shut the door so the rabbits don't get in. Rabbits will eat all our food. Daddy, Agent Tracker, come Daddy, on. Go you wanna go see D.B. Cooper, huh? So Agent Tracker's gonna help us look for D.B. Cooper clues. Rabbits can easily squeeze under here. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, can't keep them all out, but uh, what the we can keep one? some of them out. Okay, let's go get that briefcase first, okay? That's down by the zombie uh, Minecraft port, right? What do you think, Agent Tracker? You can come with us? You can come with us? Maybe you should ride in the go-kart with us. You wanna ride in the go-kart? Yeah, let's get in here. Oh, she loves it, yeah, yeah. All right, let's start her up. Tracker, where's the briefcase? Go get the briefcase, go get it. She's sniffing, see, she's sniffing. Let's see if she'll lead us to the briefcase. Lead us to the briefcase. Where is it? Where is it? There you go. You got it. She's on the track. She is on it. Go get the briefcase. You can do it. Where is it, Agent Tracker? Where is it? Nope, never mind. She's she's on the trail of something else. Because <laughs> the briefcase is right here. It's right here. The briefcase is right here. So as some of you may remember on our last episode, we had this briefcase that had some evidence in it. What we thought was evidence that we found it. Al's house. I'll push on this and you pull on that. Ready? Ah. Oh, whoa! Oh, yes! Yes, we got it Wait, open! Daddy. What did you do? But well, we tried so hard side. to pull it last time. It Come on over here. Oh no, Agent uh, Purple Thunderbolt is still on seatbelt. <laughs> Come on. Come on over here. All right, we're gonna reenact Wait, what we did. Can you push that in? Pull this one. Pull that one. And pull that one. <laughs> <laughs> That's it's did. such a surprise because there's a spring in here. Okay, Agent, so some of you may remember when we found this at Al's house, our well, neighbor we Al, who we think is Dad, B.B. Cooper. We should paint a face right here and have it to where so when we open it, it goes boo. Uh-huh. So for those of you who don't know the story of D.B. Cooper, D.B. Cooper, or Dan Cooper, and we don't know his real name, he took a plane and he brought what was thought to be a bomb in a briefcase just like this. Wait a minute, the bomb was in a briefcase that was like this. Yeah, that's what I tried to tell you. <gasps> Wait, what's in here? Is there anything in there? He ended up hijacking a plane with a bomb for $200,000. He got the $200,000, he asked for four parachutes, and he jumped out of the plane with two of the parachutes and the bomb and the cash, and no one ever saw him again. And this is a true story. It's a real FBI case that hasn't been solved. Could this be the briefcase that had the bomb in it? Could this be in here. You didn't do in here, Daddy. part of the parachute? Now this isn't a parachute. You know what this is? Pilot chute. Yes. It's called a pilot Wait, chute. The this is the what parachute the for the parachute. Well, this goes have, out first and pulls the parachute out. We should test it out. Wait. What? Um, what does that say? Manufactured by Naval Aircraft Factory, Navy Air Facility 603535-1. Maybe we should look that up. Yes. Naval Aircraft Factory. Naval Aircraft Factory. Naval the Aircraft Factory. The Naval Aircraft Factory was established by the United States Navy in 1918 in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. World War One. No, no. Whoa, that's a long time ago. Daddy, but okay, you need so to look up the exact thing. Six zero three five three. Mm-hmm. J. Well, that said World War One, and this right here looks super old. One of the parachutes that they gave him 
was a military style parachute. Dad, did someone have Could this be one of the parachutes that DB jumped with? He jumped with two of them. Hey, you wanna give it a try? You wanna try it out, see if it works? How could we try this out? Oh, Agent Honey Bear. Okay, Agent Honey Bear, are you prepared for the parachute mission? Yeah, I'm ready, I can do it. Okay, so, first test for the mission. Can I eat you? Uh, sure. He's eating Agent Honey Bear. Ah. Uh. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Agent Honey Bear up for the mission? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> All right, Agent, so we are gonna tie Agent Honey Bear to this parachute. Let's see. Agent Honey Bear, shoot two of this a parachute. All right, agents, look at that, Agent Honey Bear. So now we just need something really high to throw Agent Honey Bear. I have a perfect place, let me have Oh, it. yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. Agent X has a great idea. Okay, Agent Honey Bear, are you prepared to fall from a high place? Yep. Ready, go. It kind of worked. I saw it open up a little bit, but we got to do better than that. We need to get a higher place. How do we do? Oh, hey, Agent DB's cabin. It's pretty high. The roof of it. The roof. Maybe Agent DB, who we think is DB Cooper, might let us throw Agent Honey Bear off of his roof. Let's go give it a try, okay? Come on, let's go to his house. Agent Tracker's right behind us. She didn't want to ride in the go-kart. She's a good dog. Yeah, girl. She won't get on, I think she's scared of the go-kart. Oh, it's so great having a dog friend here. On the DB Cooper case! All right, agents, we are here. Wait for me! At Agent DB's house. Wait for me! Oh, yes. There we go. All right, so I got the briefcase here. Oh, get the goods in it. Let's see if we can get this thing to fly. Hey, hey, hey! What's up, Agent you DB? <laughs> Too hot to work. Yeah. Yeah. So we have this uh, briefcase that you gave us. That looks familiar. It does, huh? <laughs> so we were wanting to try out something, and we were wondering if we could use your cabin. Sure. We're gonna try to test out the parachute in here, and we're gonna see if Agent Honey Bear can fly. Can we use your cabin to, we need something high to throw it off of. What's a honey bear? Agent honey bear? Oh, no. he doesn't know who Agent <laughs> honey bear is. Oh, oh. What's she doing? She got something. She got something? Maybe she found the DB Cooper clue. Come on, Agent Purple Thunderbolt. Maybe she found a DB Cooper clue. Did you find something, Agent Tracker? What'd you find? Look at the blueberry bushes. She's going crazy. What do you find that she is? Look at her, she's following that nose like crazy. Oh my goodness. What is she doing? Wow. She is on. Oh, is it the money? Did you find the money? Did you find the money? Oh my gosh. She, oh, this is where we got There's the parachute. There's something under the house. There, this is. Dad, she's sniffing under the, the house. money is under the house. Could she have found the money? DB Cooper's money. Yeah. Oh, it's your cat? cat. Uh, hey, Faven, hey, get over here. Hey, it's, it's hey, Faven. Okay. Can you? Can All right, so <laughs> Agent DB's got a cat. And Can you tie it around my leg? Don't know for sure, but it's probably not the money that Agent Tracker smells. It's probably the cat. <laughs> she never treats my wallet like that. Oh, but I don't really have much money in my wallet anyways. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we got a rope now and it's tied around my waist. See like way? this. So Agent Tracker can't get the cat. We don't want Agent Tracker getting the cat. Although Agent Tracker probably couldn't get the cat. But just in case. Okay. Agent Honey Bear's in here. Agent Honey Bear's in there. You open it up, okay? Can you open it up? I don't know how. Let's see if Agent oh. Purple Thunderbolt can open this up. There you go. You got the first one. Oh, you did it! Awesome work. This is Agent Honey Bear. Agent Honey Bear, oh, okay. meet Agent DB. Hi. Hi, Agent DB. You're pretty sticky. Yeah, I'm pretty <laughs> sticky. That's just how all honey bears do. Agent DB, can I jump off of your roof? Oh, shit. Kind of like you jumped off of that plane. <laughs> oh. What plane? <laughs> oh. 
Okay, can we do it, please? Sure. Okay, come on, let's go. So, Agent Axe oh, is gonna throw oh, Agent Honey Bear all the way off of there. Into the water? Into the water. Really? What do you think? Yes, in the water. Give it a try. Like DB okay. might have fallen in the Just water. Just like so. DB might have fallen in the water. <gasps> Dude, this might give us a lot of evidence. Okay, everyone, we are gonna see if Agent Honey Bear can jump from this high and make it down into the water below safely. Let's see it. Ready? Three, two, one, go! Let's go! It kind of made it to the water. Well, I, it <laughs> I don't know. I Is Agent Honey Bear okay? We better go check it out. Come on. Wait, you go grab it real quick and bring it back okay. up here real quick. Okay. All right. And that Rocky. looks pretty bad. Let's go see if Agent Honey Bear fared well. What do you think? Didn't work so good, man. That's not looking good for Agent DB or for DB Cooper. We're looking around to see what's going on here. I don't know. Maybe it needs to fall from a higher place. I don't know. I'm not sure, agents. Don't know what to make of this exactly. <laughs> this is a pilot shoot, mm -hmm. so maybe it, maybe it won't tell us a whole lot of information. We're gonna give it one more shot, okay? How you doing there, Agent Honey Bear? Whoa, 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 whoa. I couldn't understand what he said. Maybe he's a little bit discombobulated from mm -hmm. the fall. Come up here, Daddy. Or maybe hold it right here. Daddy. Okay, that's a good idea. We'll give that a try. Give it a more of a chance to open up. I think that's a good idea. We'll give that a try. Okay, so we had a little bit of experience with learning about monster trucks and throwing them off of a roof. And one thing I learned from that is that it was easier to clump everything together and throw it as high up in the air as possible. Maybe that'll work this time too. Let's give it a shot. Okay, agents, so Agent Axe is gonna film me. I'm gonna climb up to a higher part of the roof so I can throw it as high as I can. Are you ready for this, Agent Honey Bear? I still don't understand what he's saying. Wait, Let's there was honey in his mouth. Now there's not any oh, honey. Oh, oh, oh. Please don't throw me off. Agent Honey Bear, you gotta do it. It's so we can solve the D.B. Cooper mystery. Oh, okay, okay, I'll do it for the D.B. Cooper mystery. <laughs> Good work, Agent Honey Bear. Wait, look in the window. See? <gasps> the picture. Oh, yeah. Oh, I have the picture right here. Watch your it's right there. Right, you two stay right here, okay? Three, two, one, go! I couldn't see it all the way. It flew off that edge. You I only saw it? saw it about to halfway. It yeah, looked I... like it worked though. Yes, it did. It made it much slower. Here, oh. let's see if he's okay. Okay, that is awesome. It actually kind of worked this time. Dad, okay, I saw on, it slowing okay. down. Okay. Did you see it? I saw it a little bit, but coming down on the window. It, it, it looked like it opened up. It looked his like it worked quite a bit better. I don't know his what do you opened. think, Agents. His top opened. Oh, his top was already open. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know exactly what we've learned here, Agents, except that this pilot shoot, I think we'd have to have a test from a way higher place, and we just don't have something like that. Let me try it. You want to try it? <laughs> okay. So. Agent DB is actually gonna try it this time. We're gonna watch from the bottom, okay? All right, here it is. Oh, it did a double backflip! That was so cool! Did you see that? It did a double backflip. Okay, let's just do a boat. You wanna go on a boat? Okay, all right. Let's go on a boat ride, okay? Hey, 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 honey bear, let's <laughs> drink it all the honey. <laughs> oh, wax or drink it all my honey. Okay, everyone, so now we are on a boat in D.B. Cooper's pond. D.B. Cooper found something in this pond recently. Let's go ask him what it was, okay? Let's go talk to him. Oh, there he is, D.B. Oh, yeah. So you saw something in your pond recently? Uh, what? what did you see in your pond? Yeah, this big old beaver. A beaver? Yeah. Agents, that is so cool. Oh, well, I'm thirsty. He saw a beaver here in this well, very pond. Oh, over there? Ah, I see, yeah. There's a little trail leading up and down right there. That is so neat. 
beavers are incredible. Whoa, creatures. All creatures are incredible, but beavers are very, very interesting to me. I think that they're really cool. They are master builders. There's not many creatures in nature that build like beavers do. Get thirsty, Daddy. Oh, I she's want drinking, some. Aw, she's drinking from baby. the fresh spring. Oh, baby. <laughs> I want some. There's a fresh spring right there coming baby. down. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Agent Purple Thunderbolt, I have a question for you. Do you think that Al is D.B. Cooper? I don't know. What do you think about that? Yeah, but D.B. Cooper has dark, 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 dark eyes. Dark and eyes, glasses. okay. And glasses. What do you think about this? Ah! Are those dark glasses right there? Is this you? Yeah. All right, agents. I'm so thirsty, I'm gonna drink this water. I need some. Oh, it's coming from a fresh spring up in the mountain there. He's got a pipe running down here. It brings that spring water all the way down to here. Is that good? <laughs> what do you think? Is that delicious? Yeah. Fresh spring water. So what do you think, Agent Purple Thunderbolt? Do you think that's D.B. Cooper right there? You think that looks like him? No, because I know so? Owl does not have a... Oh, a football? Oh, he wears glasses. Well, he's got a football wearing glasses here. What is the football? Al actually does wear glasses. Where is that football? I wonder if the money is in the football. What if he hid the money in the football? We need to look for a football. Wait, what if he um cut it open and that's why the glasses are there, to hide oh. the cut? Oh, yes. If we ever see a football around here, we definitely need to grab it. See if we can see what's inside. <laughs> Yeah, agents, the game cam. Daddy, we can't Daddy, tell the game cam? whether or not the game cam. Al is D.B. Cooper just from a picture. And there's good reason for that. You shouldn't judge people just based on the way they look. That's a very, very mean way to judge people. So, this picture might somewhat indicate that he could be D.B. Cooper, but we certainly shouldn't just use a picture to judge Dad, him and, and say that he's D.B. Cooper closer. just based on a Daddy, picture. we're going closer! We're going closer! Ah, we're the edge. But we do want to know, how did that picture get in the D.B. Cooper escape room? Uh, I'm set feet on new there. land! No All these Daddy, mysteries, agents. I've well, discovered new land! You have discovered new land. <laughs> Eat some of the there's an old saying, agents, don't judge a book by its cover. Even if a book has a cover that doesn't look quite right, you still shouldn't judge it. So even if Al, our neighbor, looks like he might be D.B. Cooper, and even if he is D.B. Cooper, we still love him. We do. Yep. Oh, and remember, for any adult agents who are watching, you can get your official Adventure Agent badge here with your own custom agent name that you pick yourself. Or, if you're like us and you're on the Coop case, you can represent and get your Coop case shirt here. Go to theadventureagents.com or check the link in the description down below. Well, agents, life's an adventure and love is a key and we love you too. Even if you're D.B. Cooper. And we love the puppy. Are you D.B. Cooper? And we we haven't caught him yet. Right it could be you. The if you're right six right years right? old, it's definitely not you. Even if you're 33 years old like me, it's definitely not me because I wasn't around then. <laughs> Can you say bye, D.B.? He said it! He's DB! I got him to say it! He admitted! Yes! Case solved! <laughs> I mean, uh, what?